Now let us derive a relationship between the electric field and electric potential. Suppose you have a positive charge, let's say plus Q, placed at the point O. Let us draw a straight line like this and, thus, and let us take two points A and B very close to each other, A and B. Let dr be the separation between these two points. dr is dr being very small since A and B are very close to each other. Suppose you have a charge Q0 placed at the point A. We know since the charge is positive, there is always an electric field towards right. For a positive charge, electric field is directed away from the charge. So, it is towards right. Now, we have the force on the charge Q0. Force on the charge Q0 due to this plus Q charge is equal to, let's say force F is equal to, we have Q Q0 times E. Since we take only the magnitude, we have F is equal to Q0 E. Let's call this, or like write it here, F is equal to Q0 E. Let's call that as equation number one. Now, we have the direction of force is towards right because direction of force is along the direction of the electric field. And we need to move this Q0 charge towards left that is from A to B. So the work done to move the charge, work done to move the charge from, from A to B to be let's say dw is equal to we have force to by by this force this force is towards right and we are moving the charge towards left so that is equal to f dot dr dr let's say the vector dr is in the left direction this is a magnitude and dr vector is towards left we are moving it from a to b and clearly you can see that the angle between F and DR is 180. So DW will be F DW equal to F DR cos 180. But you know the value of cos 180 is minus 1. So DW is equal to minus F DR. That's uh, again implies DW is equal to See, cos 180 is equal to minus 1. So, that will be minus F dr. And you know F is equal to Q0 e, which will give dW is equal to minus Q0 e dr. Let's call this as equation number 2. Now, we have potential. Let's take the potential at these two points. Since the point B is close to Let's take this point B is close to the charge Q. We have the potential, let's say, V plus dV. And if I take potential at A, B, V. Because as we move away from the charge, let's say, mark it, mark it here. That is potential at the point B and the potential at the point A. Potential at the point B will, will be V. V plus dV and that at A will, will be V. Since the since we as we move away from a charge, positive charge, the potential decreases. So the potential at B will be always higher than the potential at A. Clear. Now we have by the definition, definition of work and potential, we have the work done dW is equal to potential potential difference into charge Q0. Potential times charge is the work done. DW will be, you know the potential difference is equal to final potential minus initial potential into Q0. We are moving the charge from A to B. So the final potential will be V plus dV 
and the initial potential is V. So dW is equal to V plus dV minus V times Q0. Since Vf equal to V plus dV and Vi equal to V, you can cancel this V so that dW will be dV times Q0. Let's call this as equation number 3. And if you compare the equation 2 and 3, that is, if you compare these two equa equation 2 and 3, you know equation 2 equal to equation 3. So that you can write minus Q0 E dr is equal to dv times Q0. You can cancel this Q0 and this Q0 so that you will get E is equal to taking the minus to the right minus dv by dr. So this is the relationship between the electric field and potential difference or you can say potential that is negative of derivative of potential with respect to distance gives the electric field at that point or electric field at any point is the negative of derivative of potential with respect to distance clear